welcome. We are here talking to you from the Great Victoria Falls, one of what I consider the seven wonders of the world, one of the most beautiful places to be right now in Zimbabwe. And of course, why right now? Because here in Victoria Falls is the annual 2023 Chartered Governance and Accountancy Institute in Zimbabwe annual conference. And it's going out under the theme, Chartered Governance and Accountancy Professional Catalyst for Economic Transformation, Attaining Vision. 2030. I'm now joined by a, a, someone I've known and of course from Zida, Le Chief Legal Officer Zida Teresa. Teresa, welcome of course to the conference. Now, Thank you Andy. Now one of the keys of course at this conference is corporate governance yeah. and how Zimbabwe needs to strengthen institutions must to make sure that our framework in corporate governance is so strong yep. that it has ripple effects in other parts of the economy. I think people forget that. They say corporate governance but they don't understand how it affects other people, particularly investors. Yes. Maybe we can talk to that because, of course, Zida, you are the investment promotion body of the country. So talk about why corporate governance is so important and its link to investors and what investors look for when making investment decisions. Perfect. So um, naturally, uh, when investors are coming through, as ZIDA, we facilitate investment into the country and we interact with investors most of the time. Um, and what they're looking for is a properly formulated company. So I know that um, in Zimbabwe, currently, most businesses are not fully registered uh, in terms of the laws and in terms of what needs to happen. But if you are going to attract the correct type of investment, you have to make sure that you're structured correctly, you're registered correctly, you have proper governance structures and systems. Uh, within your company. You are having your audited accounts every year. You are having your annual reports published. Uh, you are simply complying with the laws pertaining to uh, governance. And if you are aware, uh, our companies and uh, other business entities act uh, has come into being and it provides uh, for specific corporate governance uh, provisions that companies need to abide by and be able to ensure that they are well set, well structured and ready to receive that type of investment. Um, if if you are going to attract the correct type of investor, they need to be able to understand what your company is, what it's doing, what it stands for, the work that it is doing, uh, before they even interact or make direct contact with you. So um, we do provide a, a business registration uh, platform within Zida where companies can come and register, local businesses can come and register their businesses with Zida. And we help at that particular point to say when you are registering your business with Zida, these are some of the things that you have to have in place and we do have the one-stop investment services center where if it's not in place we do provide the support to get your business ready uh, to be attractive to, an in, to a prospective investor. Now this doesn't just apply to the private sector of course in fact in fact corporate governance and accountability transparency ethics is also a huge thing that needs to be carried out by the public sector government sure. departments state-owned enterprises and so forth and does that have a role in investor decisions in terms of should we invest in Zimbabwe or not? Absolutely. Um, it has a fundamental role that it plays. So you find that um, Zida also oversees Triple P's, which are the public-private uh, partnerships. And this is... Uh uh, private sector partnering with public sector and before an investor makes a decision to partner with government not only partner with government but just invest in the country in general they are looking at to say how is the legal framework structured um, are the laws in place reliable um, is the framework solid so it helps and we have a role to advocate and lobby uh, to create a conducive inv uh, investment environment within the country and we do lobby and we speak about issues that affect investors for instance <coughs> policy inconsistencies. When we churn out uh, a significant number of statutory instruments, that affects just the national uh, perception in terms of how investors view our environment and to say, um, is it a stable environment? Is it conducive? If I invest today, will my investment uh, uh, be uh, um, observed or understood or respected or operate uh, within the same framework with which I entered. At the point of entry, there is a legal uh, regime that is uh, operating. I want to have that assurance as an investor to say, if I'm investing for five years, if I'm investing for 10 years, there are not going to be radical changes uh, in the law. So when we uh, put forward that stability within the legal framework, um, the governance structures at national level also contribute to when an investor is making a decision whether to invest uh, as a private investment or whether to engage government 
confident and invest because the investor is looking at a return on investment, an environment that is conducive and suitable, an environment that is predictable and that can only be achieved through transparency, accountability, set systems and proper governance structures that are in place. Thank you so much, Andy. Chief Legal Officer Zida. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Andy. It was great. Thank you very much.